So just continuing on from our test data selection here. So we selected these two records are the record that we are going to test. So this is about 20% of the data. Remember the data set we are using with this machine learning algorithm linear regression. We only have a small data set. As you can see here, uh, we don't have many records at all. So we only have a small data set here. Um, and what we want to do is out of that, we just selected 20% or testing. So the next step is once you've selected 20%, you want your model for whatever the data that you using for training you want to build a model on it because you want to work out for any random data that you give it what would the house price be so we know based on the house size here these are the house prices but what if you gave it some random size and random price but rather than make up those random values because you won't be able to judge the accuracy of your model because you don't know what the actual prices are so what you do is you just save yourself two records 20 percent of this data remember if it was thousand of records 20% would be a large value so I'm only showing it for demonstration purposes but this logic would apply to massive data sets so you can select 20% of your data in this case it will probably be two records and those two records are randomly selected not with no bias or any you know manual selection process because remember we're using the automated built-in functions within sklearn to select our test data and training data so you build your model over here and this is the function so remember here we are just this is a class and we're just creating an instance of it remember i talked about classes so we this function here it, it's part of linear regression here this is a class and what we are doing here is we're just creating a copy of it and then we call this function model.fit we pass it to the two variables our training data set so this is the x values and this is the y values so remember x is the size y is the price and you might be wondering where did i get the train underscore train because it says here x there's no train it's because we use this function to split our data between training so 80 percent of the values selected here are for training and 20 percent are for testing i remember i'm just highlighting these for demo purposes these have been selected randomly and we can here we printed what values have been selected for testing and you can see that the size here was selected and here was selected so the rest of the data we are actually going to be using for our training here so 80 percent of the data for training and once that training is done what we are going to do is we are randomly going to predict based on a house rise and see what value we get and then later on we're going to check how accurate our model is based on the test data because you need to know the actual values